Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm Nola Viva and today I'm gonna go ahead and break down how I got these passion twists, these goddess passion twists. So I actually started out with getting my hair parted for me. Let me tell you why, because I was super, super busy. I normally would do this myself, but I decided to just go pay someone to part it for me. I spent around $50 to get this done and it only took about an hour to do. Now, if I would have had to part my own hair, it would have took me several hours. I can't even tell you how long, but I just know it would have definitely took way more than one hour to do. So I got this hair from Amazon. It came with seven packs. There's 12 twists in each pack. It's 30 inches long and I used about three to four packs. I also used the Just For Me Grip Glaze. I love this stuff. I swear by it because it's so good and it smells good too. Now I use this three-way mirror. I'm going to show you guys how to use it because you guys had questions in my last video. So this is how you use it. So you are going to look at the right mirror when you look at the right mirror you're gonna see your reflection in the left mirror so you'll see one side of your head when you're about this distance away from the mirror so from there all the way to the left is where i can see that side of my head now if i want to see the entire back of my head i have to get closer to the mirror and i have to adjust the mirror so that i can see it so i pulled it closer as you can see and this is how i can actually see the entire back of my head so now I'm going to take a twist and I'm going to unravel it. Now the reason I get pre-twisted hair is because I love the way that it's already twisted. So when I just twist it back, it's going to be nice and beautiful. I don't have to worry about them all looking different and crazy. So after I do that, I then, I then go ahead and uh, crochet in the hair by sliding the hook through the middle of my braid. I then go ahead and add the uh, twist to it. Close the hook before you pull it through pull it through and then go ahead and put your fingers through the loop that you just made. So once you do that, grab one side and then pull the other side through. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the grip glaze here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just smooth out my natural hair this is so that it can blend really nice and seamlessly with the twist. And I wanted to just go ahead and show you guys in real time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically... Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to want to twist the hair because... Um, what happens is you can end up twisting it the wrong way. So... I'm just twisting the hair a little bit down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it just so that I can see if it twists the right way. So as you can see, it looks a mess. That means I'm twisting it the wrong direction. So you don't actually have to um, twist it with your hair. You can actually just pull it off to the side and like just twist the passion twist hair alone a little bit down and then just you know see if you're twisting it the right way just so you don't have to go all the way down to the end and realize you got to redo the entire thing now what i'm doing here is i'm actually unraveling some of my braid um this just to about right here and the reason i'm doing this is because i'm gonna split my hair and blend it with the twist um just because i was trying different things to see if it would like blend better or you know last a little bit longer but what i do is i three strand twist around the braided part of my hair and then once it gets to where it's straight again um i split it into into two blend it with the passion twist hair and then start twisting all the way down um and i'm gonna show a little bit more broken down um a little bit further into this video but uh grab you guys a clip clip it to the top of your head and then go ahead and finish all the way to the end of the twist um so you're not like putting it in your mouth when you're getting towards the end if you're working with like really long passion twists like 30 inches and when you get to the end it will literally stay as is it will not unravel 
So now when I'm done with two braids on one side of my head, I actually like to just switch my body um, and start working on the other side because it's easier for me. I don't like being super close into the mirror because I don't have much space to work with. Now, um, when I look into that mirror in front of me, I can now see the other side of my head with that mirror behind me. So now this is basically just what my hair is looking like once I'm about halfway done. So I used about three to four packs and there were about 12 twists in each pack. So there's about 36 to 48 twists um, in my head when I was completely done. Now here is where I'm going to go ahead and slow it down for you guys to show you how I three strand twist around my natural hair. So the key to knowing how to three strand twist, because I used to struggle with this, um, is literally remembering to keep your hair, your own natural hair in the middle. And then you're just literally twisting the passion twist hair around your hair. And again, keeping your hair in the middle. As you see, it never moves. I'm literally just twisting around it. Then when I get to where it's no longer braided, I then separate my natural hair into two pieces so I can blend it with the twist and then I just continue to twist all the way down to the end now you don't have to do it like this if you want to just braid all the way down to the end like your natural hair and then twist around that you could do that or if you want to go a little bit further down and then split it you can do that too now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I add this synthetic uh, goddess hair so what you want to do is since this is 22 inches it's not 30 inches like my uh, passion twist I actually fold it over a little bit where one side is longer than the other side. So then I just go ahead and do the same process of crocheting it in. Um, go ahead and open up that loop. And then I take the short side and then I just go ahead and put it through the loop. Then I go ahead and pull it into a knot. So the way that I add my goddess hair is by staggering it. So as you can see, the first twist had goddess hair, the middle doesn't, and then that last one, I'm going to add it. Now the next row, the first one doesn't have goddess hair, the middle one does, the next one doesn't have any goddess hair. So that's how I do it, I by staggering it. And sometimes what'll happen is when you tie the knot, it'll come undone a little bit and be very loose. So it'll have like a really big loop. So what you can do is spray some strong adhesive spray, holding spray. I'm using the Eben um, adhesive spray spray um, and literally just hold it there for a few minutes or not minutes a few seconds or so you can use something to uh, fan it so it dries quicker but once you do that it will actually stay so now I'm doing my baby edges and honey these is adult edges because I left out a whole bunch of edges um, but that is how that end up looking and so for the front two pieces, I didn't like the look of two of the goddess hair pieces hanging. So I decided to just go ahead and twist around one side of the goddess hair around the passion twist. Um, what you want to do is add some um, of the grip glaze so that it actually stays in the twist because what ended up happening is it um, kind of came out a little bit near the end. So just make sure you do that if you decide to, you know, do this. And then when you get to the ends, um, it may look like different lengths like you'll have a few pieces that are really really long so you can just go ahead and cut them and it won't unravel it'll still look really good and so yeah guys that is how i got my goddess passion twist i love it y'all it is so light it's not a heavy style even though it may look like it so what i'm gonna do now is just go ahead and show you guys how the hair looks with the synthetic hair and i'm going to talk a little bit more about the synthetic hair i'm going to show you guys what it looked like after a week and then i'm also going to show you guys how to add human hair um so yeah let me just go and show you guys the results of the hair
All right, guys, so this is what my hair was looking like with this synthetic hair a week later. This hair tangles up a lot because it is synthetic. Um, I guess the grade of it as well is just not that good of a grade. Um, so just keep that in mind. It is an affordable option, but it definitely tangles a lot. So I did end up buying a human hair bundle from Amazon as well. I have all the stuff linked down below in the description as well as a pinned comment. But what I ended up doing was just go ahead, um, going ahead and cutting a little piece away from the weft. And I went ahead and pretty much did the same process. Now, the only difference with it being human hair is this actually is, um, 26 inches i believe while the other hair was 22 inches and they look like the same length now this is a lot shorter so what you're gonna have to do with this um is you're gonna have to add like maybe two um human hair pieces to one strand um so just you know keep that in mind you can still do one but it's gonna be a lot shorter um but what i'm doing is i literally just you know crocheted in tied a knot around the hair and be careful when you're working with the human hair because it can easily separate um, with the frayed ends. But once you do tie the knot, it'll look something like this. Make sure you definitely spray some type of holding spray um, and pull it where it's tight and then hold it there for a few seconds. Grab a fan or something or you could just use your fingers and like, you know, tap it. Um, just help it to dry very quickly and then once you're done add some of the grip glaze and then twist around the other side um you know around a passion twist so that it will stay so this is what it will look like when you're all done and again this is 26 inches of human hair so it will appear a little shorter than the 22 inches of synthetic hair because that hair is actually folded over so what you can do is you can actually just add another piece of human hair to the same exact twist just a little bit higher up and it is really snug it doesn't go anywhere but i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more if you like and i hope to see you in my next video bye